Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and thanks for dropping by today to watch this video. Keep in mind that we made this video using AviCat and our MetQ add-on. Check that out on catavenue.com and feel free to ask me more about how you can implement MetQ into your workflow. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool feature that you'll find in MetQ 4.01. Uh, it increases the speed by about 40% when you're inputting both 3D piping and also 3D ducting. So ducting works the same way. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the piping. Um, but the first thing we'll want to do is go into the view. We'll go into uh, Southwest Isometric. You can go into any of these really, but I just like to go into the Southwest view. And then we're going to go into the MetQ tab, go into ortho piping. Uh, here I've got a butt welded six inch fitting uh, selection, but any of these uh, will work uh, with this new feature. And uh, I'm just going to select the default here just to show you. View draw. I'm going to go ahead and turn my polar snap on too, down here. So make sure that's turned on. First point and the second point, I'm just going to go over three feet. I'm going to type in three feet. And then I make a turn. I'm going to go over, let's say, five feet. So I've got well gap turned on. So I put well gaps in between all these connections. Um, so um, now, the new feature comes in when, let's say you have a piping run or even just a straight piece of pipe, it doesn't matter. When you go in and you want to add a fitting um, onto the end of that, let's say an elbow. So let's select that. We'll select it by this point here. And if you look closely, you'll see a crosshair mark where the last point is uh, on MetQ with the last point entered. So we're just going to hit enter and it goes back to that last point. It's asking us if we want to well gap here, we'll just say yes. But then at this point, it just rotates the fitting in. In previous versions, you would have to define the upstream direction, uh, which would require uh, some snapping and locating the, like let's, let's say the center of this piece of pipe here. Um, so, this is the new feature I wanted to show you. So let me show you another example here, just a straight piece. I'm going to go down and select ductal iron. View draw. I'm going to pick my first point. I'm going to snap it uh, on that polar snap angle. Enter in three feet, let's say. Exit. Enter. Now I've got my straight piece drawn in there. And then if I wanted to, let's say, put a T on here. Select it from this point, for example. You can see the last point there. Just press Enter. Then at that point, the fitting just automatically comes in. It knows the upstream direction already. And then it's just a matter of simply rotating it. Uh, in this example, I'm just holding down my Shift key. So I snap to the Z direction, and I'm just entering a point here. Let's just shade this now. So you can see what's going on. And there you have it. So hopefully this video helps. And feel free to email me or call me if you have any questions. We're doing a promotion as well this week, so make sure you take advantage of that as well. It's uh, not only for the lifetime license, which uh, saves you about $150, but also for those that want to upgrade to, these, uh, to the new MetQ uh, versions. Um, this is a great time to do so because we've leveled off the prices so that, so even if you're in the older MetQ version, you won't pay any uh, penalties by... Um, upgrading this week. It's just a flat price for for those that are in the older versions of MetQ. You can visit us at catavenue.com forward slash videos 
or you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash CAD Avenue. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at cadavenue.com or you can call 888-271-7121. Please uh, don't forget to leave comments if you're viewing this on YouTube, and we appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.